Hello my dears in the previous class we were discussing about the properties of integers what are the properties closure property commutative property associative property and the last one is distributive property we already studied closure property and commutative property today we can study associative property so after this class we should be thorough with the answers of four questions what are the four questions does the integer set satisfies associative property under addition next one does the integer set satisfy associative property under subtraction does the integer set satisfy associative property under multiplication does the integer set satisfy associative property under division now we can discuss associative property of integers associative property under addition now we are going to check that does the integer set satisfy associative property under addition for that we have to check a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c that means first we have to see all a b c are from the integer set okay here that means in the lhs side first we have to find the sum of a and b then with its answer again add c here first find the sum of b and c with its answer add a so first i am going to take a b c selecting a b c from the set of integers that means from here so 2 a is 2 b is minus 1 and c is an integer 3 so first we have to find lhs lhs equal to lhs means left hand side equal to a plus b plus c equal to here we have selected a equal to 2 plus minus 1 put it in a bracket then plus c c we have selected as 3 that is equal to 2 plus minus 1 1 plus 3 equal to 4 then rhs rhs means equal to rhs equal to a plus b plus c a plus b plus c we are substituting the same values for a b c a equal to 2 plus then put it in a bracket b plus c b is equal to minus 1 plus c is equal to 3 that is equal to 2 plus then inside the bracket minus 1 plus 3 that is 2 equal to 2 plus 2 equal to 4 that means lhs equal to rhs conclusion is if you are taking any numbers from this integer set you will get equal to sign in between these two that means always a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c so i can definitely i can say that integer set satisfy associative property under addition next we are going to check does the integer set satisfy associative property under subtraction for that we have to check a minus b minus c equal to a minus of then put it in a bracket b minus c okay i am taking the same a b c a is equal to 2 b is equal to Minus one and c is equal to three. Okay, now we are going to find the R L H S. 
एल एच एस इक्वल टू ए माइनस ऑफ ए माइनस बी माइनस सी इक्वल टू ए इज टू माइनस बी इज माइनस वन माइनस वन पुट इट इन ए ब्रैकेट देन माइनस सी इज थ्री इक्वल टू टू प्लस वन बाय अप्लाइंग द रूल फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ इंडीजर्स देन माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू सीरो देन आर एच एस इक्वल टू ए माइनस ऑफ बी माइनस सी इक्वल टू ए इज टू माइनस ऑफ फुट इन ब्राकेट बी इज माइनस वन माइनस सी इज थ्री इक्वल टू टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर इक्वल टू टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस फोर दैट मीन्स अप्लाई टू प्लस फोर इक्वल टू सिक्स दैट मीन्स एल एच एस हियर एल एच एस इक्वल टू आर एच एस बट हियर एल एच एस नॉट इक्वल टू आर एच एस वी गॉट एल एच एस एस जीरो बट आर एच एस एस सिक्स सो हियर आई कैन राइट डाउन नॉट इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी माइनस सी इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए माइनस ऑफ बी माइनस सी सो आई कैन से दैट इंडीजर सेट डज नॉट सैटिस्फाई असोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी अंडर subtraction here i am adding does not okay next we are going to check does the integer set satisfy associative property under multiplication for that we have to find a into b put it in a bracket into c equal to a into b into c If all the integer numbers satisfy this property, we can say that an integer set satisfy associative under multiplication. So just take any integers a, b, c. A is two. Same values I am taking. A is two, and b is minus one, and c is three. A is two into B is minus one into C is three equal to minus two into three equal to minus six. R H S equal to A into B into C equal to A is two into Minus one into three equal to two into minus three equal to minus six. If you are taking any numbers from this integer set, you will get the same result. That means always for any integers a, b, and c, a into b into c equal to a into b into c. So definitely we can say that integer set. Satisfy associative property under multiplication. Next, we are going to check that does the integer set satisfy associative property under division. So we have we are going to check a divided by b divided by c equal to a divided by b divided by c. Here I am going to change some. Values a is hundred and b is twenty five and c is two. L H S equal to a divided by b divided by c equal to a is hundred divided by twenty five. That number divided by c is two. 
that means here you will be getting 4 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 but RHS RHS equal to A divided by B divided by C equal to A is 100 divided by B divided by C B is 25 divided by C that is 2 equal to 100 divided by 12.5 definitely we can say that 100 divided by 12.5 will not be equal to 2 so LHS is not equal to RHS so here I can write down A divided by B divided by C is not equal to A divided by B divided by C so integer set does not satisfy till now we were checking that does it satisfy or not so clearly we can say that integer set does not satisfy associative property under division so now we are going to fill this chart first question does the integer set satisfy associative property under addition from our explanation we got yes integer set satisfies Associative property under addition. Does the integer set satisfy associative property under subtraction? No. Because A minus B minus A is not equal to A minus of B minus C. Does the integer set satisfy associative property under multiplication? Yes. Does the integer set satisfy associative property under division? The answer was no i hope you all enjoyed my class if you have any doubt about this please ask to me through comment box if you like my video please like share and subscribe and support me signing off for me joy from max ninjas